Are you behind on your data entry and you're wondering how are you going to catch up? Are there some tips and tricks that you can have? Yes, I have one I'd love to share with you. So hi, I'm Candice Camper. If we've never met before, I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And I want to share this preference with you now. Real quick, if you are a desktop user, go up above or down below and I will link that video for you. Otherwise, as an online user, you are in the right place. So this is all about how do we set up preferences to make it easier so it automatically remembers what we did in the past, all right? So come into your QuickBooks. Up here on the top right, you're gonna click on your wheel and you're gonna go under accounting and settings, go under advanced, I have a question for you. Let me know down below in the comments. How often do you come in here and look around at these settings to make sure they're set up for you or new features that have been added? You're going to go here under automations. Click on the pencil. You're going to want to make sure that you have pre-filled forms with previously entered content. You can always click on the little question mark if you want to learn more about any of these settings. So whenever you're in here and you're entering these, let's go back as if we're entering a transaction and you're entering an expense, whatever you entered last time, it will automatically generate or pull that up for you. Now, yes, if you're using as a QuickBooks online user, if you're using bank feeds, you can set up rules, but this will actually work for all different transactions, whether it's invoices, expenses, everything that you're entering. And if you don't like it, maybe you have had this feature turned on and it's been driving you crazy. You can go here under accounting setting and you can always go back under advanced and turn it off at any time. So I'd love to know, is this a new feature that you didn't even know about? Something that you're going to try out? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you'd like to receive these tips and tricks straight to your inbox, you can go up above or down below and we'll send them to you. And if you're wondering how else can you customize QuickBooks exactly to your needs, check out my customizing QuickBooks workshop. You can go to canvascamper.com forward slash workshop, or you can go up above or down below. We'll have the link for you there as well. I look forward to seeing you inside of our next tip and trick. Let me know in the comments. Are you going to try out and automate your transactions for the future to speed up, especially if you're behind on your data entry? I look forward to seeing you inside my next tip and trick. Bye.